it's that time. Lake Chickamauga. Bassmaster Elite Fantasy Fishing. But who should you pick in your groups? Let's talk about it. Well, I've taken a little hit. I'm in the top 87% of all of them, and that last that last tournament on, on Santee Cooper just didn't, nothing worked for me. Ew, you stink! I picked a lot of dark horses, and, and they just didn't pan out. What are you thinking? But today we're looking at the 2022 Bassmaster Elites on Lake Chickamauga, or Chickamauga Lake. Uh, and there's lots of great anglers throughout all of it, but we're going to talk about Group E all the way to Group A and talk about who you, who you should think about putting on your team. To start off, this is not going to fish like the last time they were there. Last time they were, they were there, it was in October. It was a lot of frog fishing. It was a lot of grass mats. That's not what things are going to be happening this time. Now, we could be in for a, a pretty good tournament. Not like Santee Cooper where we just had you know, two people over 100 pounds. We're not going to see that this time. Could we see 80, 85 pounds? It's possible. They're going to be at full draw in terms of water to start off with. To start off with. And there's a good possibility that the largemouth, largemouth bass are going to be moving up into beds. Some warm weather coming through, so that's going to play into how the fish work. And, and also, because it's been a little bit cooler, it's also going to push the shad to get a little bit, they're going to be balled up a little bit better. So those anglers that are shad fishing are going to uh, do pretty good. Like I said, it's going to be almost at full pull for the water. The waters are going to be rising, so that's going to play a, a big part of it to, into it, and it won't be a frog fishery, like like I said the first time. But who should you pick in your group? Let's start off with Group E. So in Group E, we have some pretty good anglers in it, starting off with Justin Atkins, who I am a big fan of, Greg De Palma's very good. Uh, Mike Iaconelli's in this group. Ed uh, Loren is in this group. I might be saying his name wrong. Brock Mosley, who last year was in second place in Angular of the Year and has not started off well, is in this group. Also, uh, Kyle Welcher was in this group. Just had a, just a couple tournaments ago, second place at the Classic. Uh, if you look at some of the some of those guys that I'm talking about, to start off with, there's one guy. There's a couple guys on here that are worth noting. Justin Atkins has had a 23rd and a 72nd. Uh, Caleb, is it, is Caleb in here? Oh no, it's Derek Hudnall uh, finished 37th. Mike Iaconelli had a fifth place, fifth place finish. I can't even say that right. A fifth place finish and a 42nd. Uh, Ed Lowren, I guess I don't even know how to say his name, had a ninth place finish. Brock Mosley hasn't had any tournaments over there. Paul Mueller in this group has had an 85th. Cliff Prince has had a 71st and an 86. Kyle Welcher had a 10th place, and he fished the lower lake last time they were here, and that's a, a that has a huge influence on on everything because the the lower lake is going to be more smallmouth fishing and that kind of stuff. He was fishing completely different than anyone else, uh, and then and then Brock Mosley has had 234. Also in this group is Jacob Fouts, and Jacob was a guide. He is uh, from, he, he guided there at one point in time. So he's going to have a really good knowledge of the whole area. To be honest, it's really hard for me, for me not to pick Kyle Welcher here because 40% of when I'm, when I'm filming this, 40% of the people are taking Kyle Welcher. And that 10th place finish, 10th place finish is significant because he didn't fish grass mats and so forth. But... I think I'm going to go with Jacob Fouts and just go with the 10% guy. I think Jacob having being a guide out here, knowing knowing uh, Chickamauga is very important, and I think it's in when you're when you're when you're picking somebody in these later groups, really you're real you're just hoping for someone to come out of the woodwork and do really good and help you move up in the standings. 
And while I said I wasn't going to take these guys that are lesser, not that they're lesser anglers, but not as big a name. Damn, that's crazy. I think in this case, I got to stick with the guide. I think a guide's going to have an extreme knowledge of the area. So in my opinion, I like Jacob Fouts in Group E. Now on to Group D, where we have Todd Outen, Todd Otten, Hank Cherry, Jason Christie, which is really confusing to me, Rick Clun, Keith Combs, uh, you have just Justin Hamner, Cody Huff, Jacob Yopgudson, Stephen Kennedy, who, who pulled it out for me in that last tournament, Hunter Shryrock, Brad Watley, and Caleb Sumrall. And Josh uh, Strachner, Strachner, however you say his last name. There's a lot of great anglers on this. Todd Auten has had a fourth place finish and a 50th. Hank Cherry has finished 25th and 12th. Jason Christie has had a 55th, 25th, 16th, and a 70th place finish. Rick Clun hasn't really done well here. He's had a 73rd and a 39th. Brad Watley had a 20th finish. Uh, there's a guy on here that not many people are going to know. Josh, I think his name's Josh Joshua Douglas, has was a guide out here too. Another kind of dark horse guy that could do really well. Uh, I like the idea of him. Keith Combs has had a 51st and a 54th. Gusty has had a 21st, a 57th, and a 26th. Hunter Shryrock had a 29th. Stephen Kennedy had a 15th, a 50th, and an 80th. Matt Robertson's in this group, hasn't fished there. Kobe Krieger has a 63rd, 36th, and 84th. And then, of course, Sumrall has had a 13th place finish. I like, I like, I think Sumrall could do really well here. Uh, but uh, my pick for this one is is Todd Otten. Uh, and the reason why is he's going to be fishing docks. And I think the, the largemouth bass are going to be moving up. I think he'll probably start out pretty fast. And because he wasn't uh, fishing the last time he was there, he finished fourth and fished docks. I think this is a good opportunity for him to do really well. And really, this the thing about what's going to happen at Chick is that we're going to see all types of fishing. We're going to see early morning, there's going to be top water. We're going to see jig fishing. We're going to see uh, uh, j the jackhammer, chatterbait, vibrating jig is going to come into play. We're going to see anglers using stick baits and worms and stuff like that. The whole gamut of fishing uh, strategy and lures is going to be used this at this tournament. And, and Chick is usually a little bit stingy, to be honest. Uh, I know it has some giant fish, and we will see some giant fish caught. But I think we're gonna see a some some fish starting to move up, some some pre-spawn, and some spawners. And I think it's gonna be a great tournament. But in this group, in Group D, I like Todd Otten in this in this group. In Group C, we have John Cruz, we have Seth Fighter, Austin Felix, Matt Heron. Chris Johnston, Kenta Kamura, uh, Caleb Couple, Shan, Shane LeHue, Lee Livesey, who won it last time. But here's what you got to remember: he won it on grass. We're not going to have that, so I don't think he. I think he'll probably do well, but he, it won't be the same fishery that he had last time he was there. Lee Livesey is in this thing, in this group. Bill Lowens here, Chad Pipkins, Brian Schmidt, Clark Wendlet, just to name a few of the great anglers in Group C. When we look at Group C, uh, John Cruz has had a 48th and a 23rd. Seth Fighter had a 75th. Matt Heron had a 32nd and a 3rd. J uh, uh, Chris Johnson had a 36th. Caleb Cupnell had a 23rd. Lee Livesey, like we said, had a 1st place finish. Bill Lowen had an 11th and a 27th. Chad Pipkins had a 7th place finish and a 112th. Uh, and he also said this is the lake he doesn't like the most. Schmidt had a 40, 33rd, a 49th, and a 16th. Clark Wendelit had an 81st, 42nd, 13th, and a 77th finish. And then Austin Felix had a 5th and a 16th. That's who I'm going with, Austin Felix. I really like Austin here. I, 
I like Austin everywhere. But he's from Minnesota. He's going to be fishing open water, docks. He's going to be fishing everything. And those last two finishes, being there in 5th and in 10th, or 16th, whatever my notes say, because I can't read it, 16th, uh, I think that he is the, one of the better bets here. I think you can't go wrong with Matt Heron here, and to be honest, I don't think you can go wrong with Bill Lowen here either. You want to have anglers that are capable of fishing the whole spectrum of lures, and some of these guys, those guys, are all top-notch anglers in everything that they do. In Group B, we start seeing the big name guys: Brandon Card, Scott Canterbury, uh, Taki Ito, Scott Martin, Chad Morgan Taylor, Luke Palmer, Jacob Prosnick, KJ Queen, Pat Schlapper, Bernie Schultz is here, Gerald Swindle, Jake Whitaker, uh, Chris Zaldane. There's there's stud after stud in Group B. Canterbury's had a 28th to 96th, 30. First and a fourth, Brandon Card, who kind of this is his local tournament, had a 54th and a 20th. Takeido had a 61st. Scott Martin, 42nd, 15th, 12th, and 7th. Bernie Schultz, 65th and 99th. Luke Palmer, 44th. Jacob Prostick, 4th, 31st, 43rd, and 37. Prosnick could be a good pick here. Gerald Swindle, a 12th, a 48th, and a 4th, another one, could do really well here. Chris Saldane, a 29th and a 63rd. And then Jacob, Jake Whitaker had a 3rd place finish. I think Whitaker, Prosnick, Swindle, as crazy as it may sound, Card, and Scott Martin have got to be the favorites here. A majority of people, it looks like at this point in time, are taking Gerald Swindle in this group. I understand taking Gerald Swindle here. This could be this could be a great tournament for Gerald. I like Scott Martin here. I know it sounds crazy. Scott's had some some good tournaments here. Consistent after that 45th, if you look at a 15th, 12th, and 7th, those are three great tournaments when he was with FLW and fishing some of those other guys with Cox and those other guys that are just studs. So my pick here is Martin, but I can understand taking, I, I don't see any problem taking Whitaker, uh, Swindle. I don't think, see any problem taking uh, Prosnick here either, or Brandon Card, because all those guys could do really well. But in my opinion, I like Scott Martin. And finally, Group A, where it's everybody. Matt Array, Drew Benton, Stetson, Blaylock. Stetson, Blaylock. Uh, Brandon Cobb, Drew Cook, who just won. John Cox, Buddy Gross, who's a local. Buddy Cox should be on everyone's list. Uh, Jamie Hartman, Corey Johnston, Brandon Lester, still doing well. David Mullins, I love David Mullins. David Mullins having an absolutely ridiculous year right now. Ridiculous. Brian New, just won a, just came in second place in an Open just this weekend. Brandon Palinick. Uh, Patrick Walters. There's there's a ton of people here. If we look at it in terms of how people have done, uh, to start off with, Brandon New, Brian New, excuse me. He's cashing every tournament. He's on fire. He's insane right now. While he doesn't have any uh, turn, local tournament knowledge on there, I, I don't think there's any way you can't put him in your lineup, except. There's some other guys on here that are maybe a little bit better. Brandon Palmick's had a 52nd, a 9th, and a 51st. Patrick Walters has had a 22nd. David Mullins has had an 18th and a 66th. Brandon Lester, 50th and a 93rd. Corey Johnston has had a 67th place finish. Jamie Hartman, a 24th. Greg Hackney, 23rd and 6th. It's not bad. Buddy Gross, this is his home lake, so you got to think he's going to do all right. But last time he was there, he finished in 36th. Brandon Cobb had a 31st and 38th. Stetson Blaylock, here's the, we, before we go to, to Stetson, we will go to John Cox, who's had an 8th place finish, a 49th, a 7th, a 1st, and a 12th. He's my pick. He, uh, let me just say that. John Cox is my pick. I don't think you can go wrong with John Cox right now. Everyone... Uh, he's probably, he and Buddy Gross are going to be the, the favorites here. But I want to just talk just 
briefly about why it wouldn't be a bad idea to have Stetson Blaylock in your lineup. Not not only is he just fishing insane right now, and he is second in points for Angler of the Year. Last time he fished here, he came in sixth place, and he only caught 16 fish. I want you to comprehend that. He finished in sixth place and didn't catch a limit of 20 fish. He was four fish short and still finished sixth. That's saying something to how good he fishes here because he's had a sixth, a second, a 22nd, and a 50th. Stetson Blaylock is going to be a sleeper in this one. I'm telling you. I'm not joking. He can fish here, does everything. And Stetson, this is the hardest one for me to pick. I'm going with Cox because Cox has just had so, is just fishing so well still. But it's that that eighth, that 49th when he was fishing Bass, the Bass Pro Tour. A seventh, a first, and a twelfth. The, John knows Chickamauga well. But like I said, Stetson, Stetson Blaylock and Buddy Gross are not bad picks here. Buddy is, this is his home, home pond. Buddy's going to do well. This is, it. it's all kind of working in his favor. And like I said, um, you know, they're going to have a full water draw. I know on just two days ago, someone caught a 9.49 pound fish in a tournament. So we're going to see some big fish caught. We're going to see some really big fish caught. And uh, the dam could come into play. Yeah, we're going to get some damn bait. Eddie. And people like Welcher, who fishes the, likes to fish the dam, and Brandon Card will probably go down there and fish some, some of it too. There's some of those guys that are just going to do really well. So I hope you like this. I hope this helps you. Um... I'm doing it in the middle of the night and hoping to get this done and put out tomorrow. So uh, I wish you all the best of luck. Rem uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Tell me what you think, please. It does help the channel. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Good luck. Cheers. And have fun. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing. <laughs>